By the way, I should share the most interesting thing about him. For the last eight months, all yeah. he has eaten is Wagyu steak and boiled eggs. <laughs> he, Which I don't believe. I believe it because he's crazy and he, he kind of needed to. I think he had some like his his gut health wasn't right. And he just like, like took control. He's like, I'm going to I'm going to figure out how to fix this. The doctor's not helping me. I'm going to fix this myself. He had read about the carnivore diet. I think Jordan Peterson had a very similar like kind yeah. of like issue. And he famously came out. So I did carnivore. It, it healed me basically. And so he started doing it. He started feeling a little better. Then he committed to it. And he's like, OK, so he literally orders Wagyu steak from these like farm from this one farm actually in particular and he orders like three thousand dollars a month of steak and he shows me his freezer his freezer is just full of bricks of steak like imagine like you know when you see in a movie piles of cash like just bound up piles of cash it's that but with wagyu steaks and so he had like he said he said it was miserable for like six or eight weeks he was like i craved carbs i craved sugar and then he got six eight weeks into it and he's like I can't even imagine eating sugar or carbs again. I, I don't right. crave them at all. It sounds horrible. And by the way, that's a real thing from what I understand that there's a, there's basically in your microbiome, in your gut, there's all these, uh, you know, basically there's bacteria that live there. And the bacteria feed, uh, the different yeast and bacteria feed off of uh, different like substrate, different, different food. And so the more you eat carbs, so imagine yeah. if what you're putting in is carbs, the bacteria that thrived off of, let's call it meat, are going to sort of die out. And the bacteria that thrive on carbs are going to like proliferate. They're going to spread. They're going to multiply. And they're going to um, they're, they're going to make up the majority of your gut. And then if you decide to switch and go low carb, all of a sudden, those bacteria are going to say, where the hell's our food? And the, and the craving you feel, those carb cravings, is not just like your mind being weak. It's literally the gut bacteria that are signaling to your body, we need our fix. We need our shit or we're going to die. Dude, what are you? Are you reading about body stuff now? How do you know all this? Uh, no, I, well, I heard this once. I was fascinated by it. And somebody had told me this and I looked into it because I was like, is that bullshit? And like, I'll, I'll just say... Half the shit I read five years later turns out to be bullshit. So like with health, I feel like nobody knows anything. But in hearing this, I was like, oh, that makes total sense. And that's how you get, you know, just like you get withdrawal pangs if you stop caffeine. The same exact yeah. thing happens with carbs. And when you know that that's what's happening, you're like, oh, OK, I just need to ride you motherfuckers out. Like I just need to keep I just need to hold you guys. I'll just starve you guys out. And in seven days, you'll be dead. And the only bacteria left will be the ones that feed that like the stuff I, I want to be eating. So it's a total thing. 